Hey everybody, Sam Aldersitz, host of Uncle Thursday Game Reviews. We're going to talk about some gaming news that's come out recently. Up first, we got the Xbox One. First bit of news, it's coming with a 4K compliant HDMI cable in the box. What this means is that if you have a 4K TV or are planning to get a 4K TV, you will not need to go out and spend the upwards of $1,900 that some places are charging for said cables to work with your new 4K TV, and that 4K gaming will be supported. Next bit of news has to do with the Kinect. Now the Kinect will no longer be a requirement to make your Xbox One work. When the Xbox One was initially announced, they had said that the Kinect needed to be plugged in at all times or the Xbox One would simply not work. Microsoft has now gone back on that and it will now be more like how the Xbox 360 is with the Kinect. It's an optional feature, however, it will still come with the Xbox One. Now, for those people who didn't feel like having a Kinect installed, this is good news. However, for developers, this is not necessarily the best news, as now they will never be sure who actually has their Kinect installed and hooked up. So, a lot of games that could have had voice command features, even if it's just like quick save, stuff like that, will now probably not have them, because developers are simply not going to know who actually has their Kinect hooked up. Also, the Xbox One will now come with a headset included. Previously, they had said you could use the Kinect as your Xbox Live microphone, but I'm sure a lot more people will much prefer having a regular headset like they're currently used to. There's also been some talk about some of the features that were touted at the Xbox One reveal as now being Xbox Live Gold required in order to make work. These include the TV Guide-like feature, the game DVR, and Skyping over Xbox One to other Xbox One users, or I'm assuming you can actually cross through that to computers too. So let's let's see, with the Skype, I don't really see a reason to have to pay extra for it. Uh, you're basically, if you were to buy this, say for your grandparents, uh, because they can't use Skype on a regular computer, I don't know, maybe it's too hard for them. My 85 year old grandfather can do it, so I don't really see why your grandparents couldn't or whatever. But, you know, that would be the, quote, market that they were going for. Uh, I don't really see a reason for them to have to pay an extra $60 a year just to be able to Skype with their friends and family <clears throat> when they could get that, you know, the same program on their PC, get a nice HD cam, and do it at no extra cost above their internet connection. There's no real reason to, to force this to be an Xbox Live Gold only thing. Next up, the game DVR. First, it only records the last five minutes of gameplay. It's not a long time. Uh, maybe it's just something you want to watch later. Uh, that sort of stuff. Maybe export, which we don't know yet, if you can even export it to your computers and, you know, edit them and upload them to YouTube or whatever. So I don't really see that that needs to be another $60 a year, you know, cost for everybody. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I am. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I'm nearly 40. Maybe I'm not hip enough to know what exactly is going to make that so important that you have to pay extra for it. Although Sony has come out and said for the PlayStation 4 that you will not have to pay extra to use their game DVR feature, which records the 15 minutes. Take that for what it's worth. Finally, for the part that they were really touting at that Xbox One reveal... You know, the television, sports, yeah, stuff that I don't watch. I watch Doctor Who. That's all I watch, okay? So I am not in the market for whatever when it comes to that. But making people pay an extra $60 a year on top of their cable subscription just to be able to use the Kinect as a hands-free voice-activated remote control seems kind of stupid. Uh, for the most part, because the Xbox One will not act like a regular DVR. So it's not like they get those DVR services that they pay for through their cable boxes. So all they're paying for is Xbox, show me prices right, you know, Xbox, porno channel, whatever. And that doesn't really seem to me to be something that's worth $60 a year. So for that market that they were really trying to impress with the Xbox One reveal they probably just lost a good chunk of them. Now, we're talking about the, the Kinect not being required anymore. That's a reversal of policy. Uh, now that there's the talk about all this stuff that they had touted at the beginning of the, the Xbox One's 
launch life cycle, I guess you want to call it, whatever, you know, since their marketing has come out, now being required to cost extra money. This is all adding into what I feel is a huge fuck up on Microsoft's part. Their marketing has been completely off. They, their, their executives have no idea what they were supposed to say. This has been exasperated by things like, you know, well, if you don't have a, a dedicated expo or internet connection you, or a non-consistent internet connection, you could always get the Xbox 360. Really? Really? That, that's a great way to sell your console. That really is. It's a good thing you're moving over to fucking Zynga because they deserve you. Really. But it really just comes down to the fact that Microsoft, in my opinion was not ready to launch the Xbox One. It is not ready for prime time. That they thought they had another year to get these things ironed out, to get this whole trying to, to smooth out the loss of being able to trade in games without paying some sort of fee or uh, moving over to digital only to, or to more digital content. Uh, to try to get people to embrace Connect as a technology that could be really cool. And in, in some ways it could be. I'm not talking about, you know, the, the swipe gestures. Yes, let's move them. Oh, Xbox, let's move to the next menu. Nothing like that. I'm talking about things like what ironically came out of a Killer Instinct panel at Evolution 2013. Killer Instinct, a fucking fighting game that hasn't been around in 17 goddamn years. Okay, and they talked about a feature of Connect that is more important to gamers than anything that had been said previously since the announcement of the Xbox One. And what that was is basically the Xbox One, when you pick up your controller, okay, you pick up your controller, it knows this is controller three. It knows by looking at you, if you're in that Xbox One as a gamer tag, it sees your face, it says, okay. Gamer tag UTGR Sam has picked up controller three. This game, I don't know, first person shooter, sports, whatever. This game, he prefers his system or his controller settings like this. That controller is now set to those settings right away. What the fuck? You couldn't say something like that months ago? You know, again, Killer Instinct is saying this. I mean, I love Killer Instinct, you know, the old ones, because I'm, I'm fucking weird or whatever. But that, that's a, a cool gaming feature. Stuff like that is what you, the gamers want to hear. That's what's going to make them say, oh, maybe a Kinect isn't quite so bad. Instead, you talk about, you know, Xbox, switch to TV. Xbox, play my music. Xbox, look me up an escort service. Whatever. That isn't exactly what gamers need to hear. Ooh, pardon my, my burp. Those of you who have been involved in my old podcast know that it's not really me until I burp. So there we go. The first official UTGR burp. Hallelujah. Praise whatever deity you praise. You know, but no, it's just their marketing has been so fucked up. Their executives have had no idea what to say. They contradicted each other left and right early on. They've reversed their policies when it comes to the used games and stuff like that. And I'm not going to say that that was necessarily a bad thing. However, they also took away the, some of the cool things that did come with that, such as not needing the disc in the tray. Uh, okay, but I could see that. You know, now that you can trade in the game without any sort of locking it to your Xbox, fine, I can see needing the disc in the tray, and that's not a huge deal. But they got rid of the family share, and the family share didn't necessarily need to be completely taken away, okay? That could have been saved very easily for your digital purchases, whether it's Xbox Live Arcade or whether you're buying full retail games through Xbox Live and downloading it to your console, there's no reason that those things couldn't have stayed with this family share program that they had tried touting. Uh, now they've reversed the Connect being required. You know, they're, so they're reversing policies. They just, in my mind, were not ready for prime time with the Xbox One. 
They didn't have everything ironed out. Uh, they, they had no idea how to work rented games, whatever. These things tell me that Microsoft thought that they could launch next year because they figured Sony was not going to say that they were launching this year. And as a result, all these ideas that they hadn't completely fleshed out are now just going to hell in a handbasket. They're, they're, they just don't know what the fuck they're doing. Because they really weren't ready to do it. They were not ready to launch this year. Even if the games were ready, they weren't necessarily ready to launch this year because they didn't have their policy straightened out. They didn't have their marketing set up. They didn't tell people exactly what they were supposed to say to the press to get the press to talk about the good features of the Xbox One. And this is going to lead to what I consider to be a botched launch. It's not that the Xbox One is going to fail, okay? I'm going to buy one, all right? I sort of have to. I fucking review games. And I like the Xbox controller better than the PlayStation controller, although I haven't had a chance to check out the PlayStation 4 controller, which I hear is better. Um, but I won't know that until I get a chance to, to use it. Uh, so, it, you know, it's not like I'm an Xbox hater. Oh, my God, they're going to fail. No, they're not going to fail. But what's going to happen is it's going to be like the PlayStation 3 launch, which was Sony basically said, well, you know, get a second job if you want a PlayStation 3 because it's that fucking good. And what happened? The Xbox 360 outsold the PlayStation 3 for fucking years because Sony was arrogant and Sony had too much hubris. And now that has rolled over into Microsoft. When they said $500, you know, because it's coming with Kinect, really. Um, people said, what? And then Sony comes out and says 400 But it doesn't come with, you know, a camera or whatever. Which is good, because PlayStation Move is fucking stupid to me anyway. Um, but a lot of this hubris that Sony had from the PlayStation 2 era, in which they were like the gods of the, you know that era moving into the PlayStation three and all of a sudden Xbox 360 sales are here and PlayStation three sales are here for like three years before they started evening out a little bit. That's going to be the exact same thing that's going to happen to the three or to the Xbox one. It's going to be the PlayStation four is going to be up here in sales and the Xbox one is going to be down here and it's probably going to take two to three years before they get their fucking information straight and actually show that there are reasons to have an Xbox One and then things will start evening out a little bit. And I don't know if Microsoft can actually... Well, they can't afford it as far as money goes. But as far as mindshare goes, I don't know. It's, it's going to end up to the same thing that happened with the 360 and the PS3 where multi-platform games as a rule for most of these, the life cycle of these consoles sold better on the Xbox 360 than they did on the PS3. And that's simply because there's going, there were more Xbox 360s out there than there were PS3s. And that's going to be what happens in this generation, in the beginning, in my mind. That the PS4 is going to outsell the, three, or the Xbox One by a large margin for at least two to three years and as a result, multi-platform games will sell better on the PS4 than they will on the Xbox One. And that's, you know, where Sony made their big mistake. And now Microsoft is just following right in line with what Sony did. So there's my little editorial part of the news uh, program that I just did. I guess it's a news program. I don't know. It's just a little talk about Xbox One. And, uh... I guess, hopefully, I'll be getting out some more videos soon. Um, I've just been a little not able to do them lately. Uh, so, I'm Sam Aldersitz. I am the host of Uncle Thursday Game Reviews. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want more videos like this, or if my fucking face is so ugly that your eyes exploded. I don't care. Just let me know what you want, or if you just want me to do more reviews, in which case, that's all I'll work on. So, thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you later.